Parker's got over 140 engineers. So when they set out to design something like this, they can really bring a lot of engineering and manufacturing talent to it. And it shows in the American pistol. Now this gun is a polymer frame striker fired gun. It has the ability to change the grip shape and width with these backstrap pieces that slide onto the polymer grip frame. Now one of the things that's unique about this gun is that inside here is a separate module that is the firearm itself. Now the frame does include this accessory rail in the front and the dust cover area. This gun has uh, bilateral slide locks on each side of the, of the frame. It has a, a single takedown lever here. It has bilateral uh, magazine release buttons. And of course, it has this uh, modern style of trigger, which is a sort of a blade and blade design. Uh, it has actual Novak sights, uh, combat style three dot sights that are dovetailed to the frame at the front and the rear. And the rear has also a locking uh, set screw to fix that position on the sight. Takedown on the rear does not involve pulling the trigger. You simply lock the gun back, rotate the takedown lever about 90 degrees, and then simply release the lock and slide the top end off the gun. Looking in the top of the frame, you can kind of see in the front you've got a section of metal rail. This is the frame proper. This is the insert, and it's a machined insert. It's not a stamped insert. And then in the back, you've got the frame rails back here. So you've actually got contact between the rails and the slide at, at, a, at a fairly long area, which means there's not a lot of play between those two. According to Ruger, the, the cutout in this underlug on the barrel, uh, they call it a recoil reducing cam. They've actually studied how the shape of that cutout acts against this pin in the frame in order to affect the recoil of the pistol. So a lot of research has been put into this gun. Ruger's produced something here that represents what pistols are going to look like and how they're going to be made for a few years to come, I think. For more reviews of firearms and shooting gear, check out the latest edition of American Rifleman the magazine.